Welcome back to another episode of The Colonel Does Feed the Beast. We are on the Trek Ultimate server. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. So I've replaced the glass here with uh, gray the glass. Uh, and thanks to Great Order who confirmed that you can, in fact, dye glass. Clear glass, that is. Um can't remember the recipe though for the life of me <laughs> i think it's just clear glass um uh surrounding the dye that you want to use so uh, in this case it was gray so we replaced this with gray glass so that we could see the kernel logistics logo and uh, we were already using red so it didn't make sense to use red here again so we changed it and we have also changed the we were going to use some glass down here and we did we are now using clear glass, so this is a, I don't know, they, they did something with, I don't, I don't know if it was in 1.5 or, or what it was, but I don't remember ever seeing this sort of behavior with clear glass. And actually I'm seeing it now with, um, and this is why I'm wondering if it was something to do with the with one of the mods in our mod pack. I've also noticed this with warded glass. Uh, we used to be able to look out through it and not, so it would kind of appear this way, but it seems as though if I change the angle here, I can actually see the, the boundaries between the blocks, which I never used to see before. So I'm wondering if that was something that changed in the mod pack or not. Uh, either way, I think we're gonna stick with that. And I've order, obviously added a door there. Uh, so the one thing that I did not do in the last episode was the ceiling. And I've been playing around with some blocks. And I think what I'm going to use is some force bricks. Gray ones, specifically. And I think this will... It, it, it won't look strange, for one. But it'll also serve as blast protection... Oh, oops, 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 oops. <clears throat> It'll serve as blast protection in case any of the machines blow up. Uh, it won't blow through the roof of the machine room. So I'm going to finish off doing this. I hope everybody had a wonderful and safe Christmas holiday. Uh, I have not played the game since uh, before the holiday, so... Uh, the video that I did post was one that I had recorded a couple of days before uh, going on vacation. Spend some time with family, so I uh, hope you all were able to do the same and had a safe and enjoyable Christmas. And I don't think I'm going to have enough of these. Hmm thought I did, but I guess not. So once we finish doing the ceiling in here, we'll go up and we'll finish off the walls and the ceiling in the break room and get that out of the way. And that will allow us to then focus on getting this room up and running and get the power hooked up. I still have not figured out where I want to put the solar panels. Uh, and they're going to be the the source of all the power in the base. So they have to... They don't necessarily have to be in the same chunk. Uh, but I would like that to be the case. Uh, same chunk as we're in right now. Uh, but... It's, it's going to be tricky. Because I was looking at this, oh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago trying to lay out the power situation and I'm not sure if we are going to have a good placement for them and what I mean by that is a place where they're not going to be like they, they need to, to be able to see the sky obviously and I, I'm not going to have enough of these so I'll have to go back and get some uh, so let me do that and I'll continue my story okay Grab some more. 
Uh, so what I meant was, basically, you have to have them, they, they have to have an unobstructed view of the sky. And the only way that would look sort of symmetrical, uh, it, well, let me put it this way. <laughs> there wasn't a way that I could find them to look symmetrical. So I don't know if I'm going to have to have a specific area where they'll have to be. Or, or what the deal will be. So we have to, to find a place to put them that will not look kind of odd. Uh, so this is the... I like the way this looks. It's kind of industrial. Uh, so we do have the force bricks up there that will provide extra buffering in case any of the machines explode, which they shouldn't, because I don't think we're going to have too many of those types of machines in here. Uh, but, uh, so let us, well, now that we finished that room, let's go into the break room, see if we can get that kind of taken care of. So we have, I'm going to, I had to move the ceiling up a bit and I'm, I'm not positive what I'm going to use for the ceiling yet, uh, but we have five blocks in here. And this is the middle, so we're going to do a block here, a block here, a block here, and a block here. And I believe these are the right blocks. <laughs> yeah, they are. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of a circle design here. And we're going to stick a creeper in the middle. Oops. There we go. And then on the corners... We're going to go diagonal. Uh, diagonal, 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 and diagonal. There we go. So I'm not sure what I want to put up here. I think I think there's a block that allows you to do a like a a corner piece just to kind of make it look sort of natural. Uh, so what we are going to do is we're gonna stick some of these in the corner. Because we're not going to be using the corner. Um, so we're going to... Huh. Maybe... Maybe we do something like this. That right. kind of looks neat. Okay, so if we're going to do that, then I think what we're going to do is... Hmm... No, I don't think that's going to work. No, I don't want that. Don't want that. So I'll break that block. I think I want to hear, though. I don't want to hear. Okay. So we'll put a blank block up here. And we'll do a blank block here. And I think this would be a good spot for, I think there's a block that does kind of a, a point. So we'll do the point. And then I think we can stick a light there. And we'll do the same over here. We'll stick a light 
right there. And that will allow us to light the corners up. And we won't have to worry about this block because we've got a light here. So I think that'll take care of the pattern for the room. And this can just be open blank blocks. I think that works out. So I'm going to need to find this little uh, little corner notch. Um, I'll see if I can find that. So let me go see if I can find a corner notch and I will be right back and we can finish off the room. Okay, I think I have come up with a little bit of a different plan here. So it became apparent as I started doing this wall here that the pattern I had started over here was not gonna work. So what I've done is done the diagonal and this actually kind of looks neat coming in. It's got a nice little frame here with the red. So, what I'm going to do is use these edged wooden tiles to edge the bottom. Okay. There we go. Okay, and I think I think I found the right corner block. Uh, it's not perfect, but it should do. Uh, so to get these, do a shift click on each and then you just rotate them to the correct position. And then a shift click and a shift click on the face. There we go. So this is kind of looks cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lights here and here. Uh, and that way it won't look strange, at least I don't think it will. Um, and I don't think we'll need one on this wall. And we probably won't need them on this wall either, now that I think of it. So I am going to finish these last couple here. And then we'll go back and fix the other guys. Oops, didn't want to do that guy. There we go. And the last corner. And one, two, three. So these guys, I think we can just rotate. There we go. And then this guy does a shift. And rotate. And a shift, shift. Rotate, rotate, there we go. Done. All right, so now for these corner guys, and I don't think I made enough of these, so I may have to go back and get some more. So we put those in, and then we shift click, and then rotate it around. So it doesn't, as I say, it doesn't look perfect, but these are the only two blocks that we have or this is the only block that we have for this corner piece. So we're kind of limited. There's not much we can do. It looks like a little bit of a knot, which is okay, I think. Uh, it's not going to be that noticeable. So it's not too big a deal, I don't think. And why am I missing one? One, two, three... That's a blank one. Edged. Got the opposite corners. Is it this guy? Must be. It must be. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to need two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 more of these. So I'm going to get those. Um, although we do have these blank tiles that we can fit in to finish off the wall. Not going to need it there, though. Need it there. There. Not there. 
Okay, so we're short those, so we'll need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen of those. Okay, so I will be back in a moment. Okay, we are back, and I probably should point out that what I'm using is Hollywood for the white. And I am using. Oh, what's up, blank tile? Ah, oh, nuts. I'm using Hollywood for uh, the white, and I'm using Sequoia wood for the red. So if you're using those in the the woodworker, uh, then you would use both of those, and you would pick your whatever angle you want to use them at. go finish up these ones quick doink 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 come on get in there Are you kidding me? Okay, all right, I got two left. <laughs> I know I counted right. There we go. couple there we go all right so we are gonna put lights in here actually yeah I'm gonna put lights in here and here And we'll do lights here and here. All right, so I don't, I still don't know what I want to do with this ceiling. Uh, I don't want any design on it, but we need to have something up there. And I do want to have a light right there coming down. Uh, I'm wondering if we do an iron ceiling here, since we're not doing any iron anywhere else. I think we can get away with that. What do you think? Kind of uh, defeats the purpose of me doing that light thing. <laughs> but that's fine. Alright, so how silly will this look with iron? Da, 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 da. I know I have some block of quartz, block of iron, and I don't think we're gonna have enough of that. Okay, so we are now out of iron. Oh man, talk about shoestring. I guess that's what happens when you work for a nonprofit. Shoestring budgets. Um, 
And I still need to make some shelves and stuff. But that's fine. We can do that later. Uh, do I have any iron left? Over here? Possibly? Maybe? No. I don't. Alright, so... I will go back for another supply run. Okay, so I have... In addition to getting the rest of the roof done, uh, and I think I, I'm okay with the iron blocks, uh, I'm going to stick some levers in here and get the lights going. Doo -doo. And I noticed there was a weird problem at the base. I don't know why, but... My boilers seem to have turned them or have run out of fuel. I don't know how that is possible, but it is the situation. So they're trying to. They didn't completely run out. Well, they they did, but um, they haven't all gone cold. But they're all, at least the hard boilers, the ones that use the charcoal and the the blaze rods, are down at about half heat capacity so they're taking a bit to, to warm back up uh, but here we go this is our little break room not it might look i think it might look a little busy but that's okay maybe that'll uh, keep the folks that are working here from staying too long in the break room <laughs> all right so we got a couple of tables now, I'm not sure if I want to use the white tables or if I want to do that or if I want to go with a black. I think I, don't, I think these ones are a little too much. And these are the redwood. Are these redwood? No, oh, these are sequoia. <clears throat> these are sequoia tables. Uh, not going to use those. Let's see. Do we want to use black, which is the ebony? Or do we want to use the white tables? I think we're going to go with the white tables. The ebony looks kind of neat. But I think we're going to go with the... I'm going to go with the... Uh, or did I say that backwards? The ebony looks good, but I think it is more appropriate to have these guys in here. Uh, so, what do I want to do here? Hmm. I think it would be good to have a coffee machine or something. So, I think what I'll do is we'll stick one of these in the corner. And we're, we're going to use some... I think we're going to use some brew stands and we'll put a white table in the middle maybe. I'd like to put some chairs in here but I don't think we have chairs. I, I've, I looked in the NEI and there's nothing for chairs. I thought thought we had open blocks, but I don't think we do. Maybe we do. Yeah. Oh, no, nah, that's open peripheral. So we don't... Oh, we do have open blocks. But I don't see any chairs. And Bibliocraft doesn't have any chairs either, so... I don't know. And I don't, I don't really want to go with the vanilla chair with the, the stair block... It looks a little big for the, the tables that we have, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but I think I will uh, stick a couple of brew stands in here and get a couple more mangrove tables situated. And we uh, should be good to go. There we go. Oh, crap. <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, so with these tables, 
with these tables, you can... I wonder if that will, how that would work. So they kind of lay on a almost kind of a three-dimensional effect. Maybe I can... How do I do that? No, I don't want to do that. So if I shift-click... If I shift-click, then the brewing stand... Are you kidding me? Did I just blow up a brewing stand? Well, that sucks. Well, crap. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess I blew up a brewing stand. Uh, that's that's not good. Uh, there we go. So there's our break room. Uh, Saul's chairs, since we don't have any. <laughs> And I guess I'll put a new brewing stand back in there once I get some more blaze rods. That sucks. So, if I break this... Okay, so I get that back. It's kind of weird. Alright, so if I right-click, it goes weird on me. So if I shift-click, shift-right-click with the wrench... Huh. That's weird. I thought I could use the wrench to to rotate it because I know I I did that with. I wonder if I do it on the table. Ah, you click on the table. Because I could do it with books. Um, I don't know. That could, this looks kind of weird. Mm, there we go. Shift click. All right. You know what? I think that's going to look fine right the way it is. Okay. Um, maybe. I don't want to waste that. If we have any. Nope. I guess we don't. Thought we might have had some bottles, empty bottles. But we don't seem to. I'll stick another one in there later. So we are done the break room. Yay! Finally, at least something's done. Uh, so we're not going to worry about that side. We've got the stairs completed. So now we need to figure out... Oh, no, we don't. We're done the ceiling. So we have to figure out how we're going to lay out... How we're going to lay out our solar panels. Uh, I can't put anything on them. Can I put a... Yeah, I can put a block on. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> um, yeah, so we got to figure out a way to do our solar panels. And I'm not sure if we're going to do that today or not. I think we probably should do it today. Because we're going to need to get it done at some point. Uh, so, so where are we here in the chunk? Uh, 2127 and 141. So, we're still in... Okay, so we're going to have to go up kind of behind here. So we are at 5 by 14. So we're going to have to go to 4 by tw 4 by 15. 4 by 15. Four by 15. 15 by 4. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to put a solar panel there. So, it would go in it would go into the ground. Um And I guess we would have one there. So, I guess that wouldn't be too bad. How many solar panels do we have?
Oh, well, that's right. They're downstairs. Nuts. Uh, four. So we do two and two, I guess. Uh, so that's... Glitchy McGlickcherson. All right, so we would stick. Let's say we would stick one there, one there, and one there, and one there, and those are hybrid. Or yeah, those are hybrids. Uh, so oh, hybrid ultimates. So maybe I mean, we should have enough power with just those two. I just don't know if that would look weird or not. I'm gonna have to sneeze. Give me a sec. Oh my, pardon me. Uh, so I don't know. I think, I mean, it's open to the sky, so it actually works out kind of good. I'm just wondering if for symmetry we would want to put a third one in the middle of each so we'd have six. Um, but I think, I think this is where they're gonna go. I think that's what makes the most sense. Alright, let's go get him. Let's see if it looks odd or wonky in any way. And we'll get them set up so that at least in the next episode we can run the power cables down and get them hooked up. And they will also be able to at least store a charge in them. There's one. That actually doesn't look too bad. I thought it would look strange. Or stranger. But it does not look too bad at all. So these are generating 132 uh, EU per tick. Wait, ultimate hybrids are 128 EU? I wonder if that switches at daytime. Because I know that these were nerfed at one point, and I think they still are. Um, so I don't know. And if they are, then maybe we will put a, a third in each side. And we'll have six. So, I think that looks pretty good. And uh, we'll just have to dig up. Just have to remember where we were. Uh, do I have a shovel on me? I think my shovel broke. Yeah, so I have to go get a new one. Oops. So it appears that I caused the game to crash. <laughs> uh, good thing it was just local to my client. Uh, but I think that is a good note to end the episode on. Uh, since I'm going to have to dig down and I'll probably do that off camera to uh, ease some of the boredom. And uh, we'll get those, get some, what do you call it? Gold glass. God, it's been so long since I've used this stuff. Glass fiber cable. Uh, we'll get that run down into the machine room and then we'll get that hooked up in the next episode. Uh, so until then, if you have any comments, please leave them below and uh, do take care.